Hello, my name's Kale Weston. Uh, I'm seeking the Democratic nomination in Utah's 2nd Congressional District. It's a beautiful day here at the top of Big Cottonwood Canyon. I'm here to specifically address environmental issues. Because I know if there's one issue uh, here in Utah that I think we can find common ground on uh, is the beauty of our state and protection of our resources and managing it well. I should start out by saying that if you were to look at my iPhone, um, what I've had on my iPhone as the background photo is, is Earthrise, uh, which of course is the probably the most iconic image ever taken of what our planet looks like uh, from, from the moon. So everything I say today has that as the backdrop. We have one planet, uh, we haven't been using our resources well, and I think Mother Earth deserves policy in Congress that takes into account climate change, facts, science, and data. So if you'll bear with me for a few minutes, I want to speak specifically about issues that are related to the 2nd Congressional District. We're sitting today in front of the watershed signs, and if any of you have been up here at Big Cottonwood Canyon, it's an important reminder as I stand on about six feet of snow uh, that all of us in a very urban uh, Wasatch Front area are dependent on, on our water that falls in the form of snow. So let's talk about water for a while. Water is something that keeps us alive. Water is something in the second driest state that needs to have a policy function tied to it. Probably the biggest issue down south is the St. George Pipeline. So my position right now is that it seems to be not financially feasible, but it's also focused on front first and most the most important issue, which is how do we conserve? Um, I believe that doing due diligence as a candidate means that I needed to read uh, the Colorado River Compact. The seven states got together uh, in the 20s and, and a, an agreement was reached in 1922. Fast forward almost 100 years and the reality is, is there's not nearly enough water uh, in, in, in the Colorado to meet needs. Las Vegas's growth has been tremendous as we all know. Washington County's had a lot of growth. Um, and those are legitimate issues about how growth uh, needs to be addressed. Less growth or smarter growth. Um, those are real issues that we're going to speak to. So the American Antiquities Act has a very interesting background. The part of the act that of course is very much focused now is it gives incredible power to American presidents to protect land. Um, that is an issue that presidents have, that President Trump under uh, this administration with a lot of support from people like Chris Stewart seems to be weakening in every way he can. I promise you that I would be someone who would put the Antiquities Act on the wall of my office. I would uh, be wrong if I didn't also highlight uh, the Inland Port is in the 2nd Congressional District. So for many of you and for me, that's an issue that I believe does have relevance when it comes to the federal government. Wildfire management is an issue I believe that doesn't often get enough attention. Funding for our parks, again, these are issues that have a very significant congressional dimension. And I would be negligent if I didn't end with a little bit of a contrast with Chris Stewart. I don't believe Chris Stewart pitches a tent like I do. I know Chris Stewart doesn't own a 2003 Tacoma like I do. I believe that our current delegation, unfortunately, spends most of its time uh, going to these beautiful Red Rock areas for photo ops. I want to end uh, today as I stand again next to the watershed uh, signs that remind us of what an incredible amount of beauty we have, but also limited resources. Uh, that I consider all these issues to have three levels. The international level, we need people in Congress who can speak to when our government pulls itself out of international treaties, decides it doesn't want to help lead the world on these issues, because pollution, water resources, land management, isn't just a, a CD2 issue. It's not just a Utah issue. It's not just a Great American West issue. It is an issue that crosses borders throughout our country and crosses borders internationally. The next level is national, which I think I've addressed. And the final level is a lot of what we can do locally. We've got an incredible environmental community, but we also have ranchers. And I'm the type of person, while I have strong environmental views and I believe in land protection, I will never exclude anyone from the room. So if some of you are from fifth generation ranching families, if some of you are future former Republicans, I do not believe that, that hard policy challenges are solved uh, by having an echo chamber. Uh, please uh, let me know if you have any questions, K-A-E-L, at westonforcongress.com.
those emails come to me directly. So thank you again for your time.